Okay guys, welcome back. So, in today's scratch video, this is what we're going to learn about. The control blocks. Not all the control blocks, just the loops of control. Loops are one of the most used blocks in all of Scratch and all programming, all kinds of programming languages. So, loops are mostly used in every single program you do. Let me tell you what loops are with a simple example. So, I have my friend John and he wants to go around the chair 10 times. So, what should I ask him? So, should I say, John, go around the chair, John, go around the chair, John, go around the chair, like that, ten times? It's really funny. Or, should I ask him, John, go around the chair, ten times? Isn't the John go around the chair ten times much easier? It's silly if somebody would do the first one. The second thing I just said, we're looping. So, the blocks I'll be teaching in this video are, repeat until a condition is met, Repeat um, the value the user enters and repeat forever. So, ready to get started, guys? I'm so excited. I will now show about the loops blocks. They are part of the control blocks, which is one of the categories of blocks in Scratch programming. So let's get started. So the first block I want to show you is the repeat block. The repeat block, like the word says it, this block lets you repeat a code for the given amount of times. So any coding blocks held inside this repeat block will loop a given amount of times. So, if you put a decimal in here, the number is rounded up. If, when a non-positive number is the input, the loop is not run. Let us try a simple example. So, let's see. Okay, so how about this? So, I want the ballerina to switch costumes. So, it will dance, okay? So let's go grab the ballerina sprite. There we go. Okay, so we have the ballerina. How about we put the ballerina in a background? So we go put in a background. Let's see. How about we type in concert? Uh, okay, we found it right there. Perfect. The ballerina is in the stage. Next. How about we get the Wang Green Flag click block to start up? So, let me think. How do I make the ballerina dance? So, let's think of the code. So, how about we go to the um, looks blocks, and then we get to the next costume block. And then, let's say we want to repeat it four times. Okay, so next, we got the next costume block. But I think we should uh, put um, a weight in between them. So let's put a weight between each one. So wait one second, wait one second, and another one. Okay, so let's try running it out. Now the ballerina is dancing. This took a lot of reputation to create. How about we make it simpler by adding the repeat block? And if I want to make it dance again and again and again, I'll have to do all that again, like keep on duplicating and duplicating and duplicating, right? Whoa, that's going to take a long time. So, I think it's much easier when you use a repeat block in this case. So, we can delete all of the other code except just one of them. Just one of that part. Perfect. Yes. Put it in the repeat and attach it. Okay. Instead of doing all of that code, it's much easier using that repeat block. Right, guys? So let's test it out. The ballerina is dancing. Great.
So let me reduce the time so you can see it better. How about 0 0.5? Now she's dancing constantly and great. Now, that was amazing. So basically here, we are doing the next costume, switch the next to the next costume in the list, and then wait um, 0 0.5 seconds. So we're repeating it 10 times instead of using doing that same code so many times okay so the next block is the repeat until block it's sort of the repeat block but it will loop until a condition is met so here until a boolean statement is true so basically waiting for an event while performing an action okay so the example now let me do the same example by using repeat until. So let's replace the repeat 10 times with the repeat until. Okay. And there, um, I'm sorry we didn't do the sensing and operators yet, but this is some advanced blocks, so we're just going to use a few. So how about we do key space pressed? So there, now we have to attach it to the when green flag clicked. Okay. So now here, basically, this is what's happening. There, we're repeating all the code inside the loop, which is the change to the next costume in the list, and then wait 0 0.5 seconds until the space bar on your computer keyboard is clicked. So let's run the program. Okay. So how about now? Let's click the space bar. Wow. That code is really cool, guys. So let me show you another very funny example. So let's get a new sprite. Okay. So the sprite. So let's get the ball sprite right there. Okay, perfect. Okay. So let's go get a one green flag click block. So the project is going to do this. It's the ball's gonna um, keep on going bigger and changing color until space bars clicked. So let's get started. So first we need the repeat block, obviously. We need the repeat until, sorry, repeat until. Okay. Once we get the repeat until block, how about we go to the looks block again? So how about we go to the looks blocks and we will grab the chain size by 10. And then we'll grab the change color effect by 25. Let's put that ahead of the um, change size by 10. Right there. Perfect. Okay. And then how about we have to put the repeat until block. Same thing. Let's go to the same thing and grab the key space pressed. Okay. So let's try it out. Then I have something else to show you. Okay, guys. Wow. Space. Now, stop it. So, now let me show you one thing really cool. So, let's go grab another change color effect by 25 block. So, now we got it in between. Let's change that in the drop down. Let's put it at whirl. It's going to look very cool now. Oh, before we do that, it's really big. So, we have to um, go get the set size to 100% block. And not put it in the repeat block. Make sure that. Okay, now let's try it out. Look at it, it's whirling inside. Look at that, it's so cool. It's like a um, sound wave, it looks like, right? Okay, guys, let's get on to the next block. This block is the final block. And it's the final block of the loops. There's much more control blocks. So, okay, the final block is the forever block. Like the word said, it will run the code within this block forever until you stop the program. So the block inside this forever block work just like the repeat block and repeat until except that the loop never ends. Since this is the infinity loop, the block has no bump at the bottom. Having a bump would be pointless as a block below it would never ever be activated. So any code after the forever loop 
would be not executed. So let's do a quick project here. So let's um, uh, use the ball sprite. Go to costumes. There's so many costumes. So how about we switch it to a blue costume maybe. Next, let's draw a swirl on it. It's going to look really cool, guys. It's going to look like a cyclone when we're done with this, okay? So, let's go grab the when green flag click block. And then, oops, right there. Okay, so in the forever loop is the thing we have to add. We're going to do this. We first need to go to looks and set size to 100%. It's the same thing like the old one, but it's going to look much cooler. And then now in the forever loop, this is the part we have to add. Let's do the change color effect by 25. And then the same block, but let's just do the drop down to whirl. whirl. Okay, guys, let's try it out. Oh, it's not going that fast. Why? Oh, oh, sorry, guys, I made a mistake. We forgot to change the size. Uh oh, let's go grab the size block. Now let's put it right there. Perfect. Now it's right. Now it looks very cool. Spinning, 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 spinning. Hey guys, did you know something? I have a very fun thing to do. Since we have this one, why don't we add a few more? Let's put this one down there. And then let's um change size by three here. Okay? And let's do another one. Now it's gonna look like um really cool something so let's put that on one now ready to try okay so three two one go oops let's full screen this now okay wow they're overlapping into a big look at this wow <laughs> this looks so beautiful so Loops blocks are one of the most used blocks in Scratch and all programming languages. So I have a challenge for you guys, okay? The next program you do, make sure to add at least two loops blocks in it, okay? That's the challenge, guys. Guys, I'll see you later. Bye! Okay, guys, I'll come back to you with a nice game this time using these loops blocks. And if you haven't, Please like this video and subscribe. Bye.